before uh, going into the video let me show the few major issues that i faced while doing this installation after OpenSSL has uh, released their uh, latest third version uh, after a, a lot of years a few packages hadn't been working properly for example even though i have the most latest open vpn and open ssl uh, installed here open ssl installed here i'm unable to install open vpn because it keeps on saying i have to have open ssl version greater than 1.1.1 which i already did have and apart from that i use uh, an sfr uh, box within sfr they don't let me to change the dns uh, to a different provider so when i try to set up a local dns and even if i try to point uh, one of the uh, local servers to something i am uh, uh, i faced a lot of issue in the end i understood that sfr never change uh, allows anyone to change dns and it has to go to the uh, official isp dns server um, today we are going to generate certificates keys and then import them into clients while creating them on an open VPN server. First, let me create a few users through the web, UB, web UI of open VPN. If we generate the users by the .ovpn files, they can connect even without uh, creating users here. But I would also uh, put up uh, the authentications for them. So which is why I'm also creating users here. And uh, after adding a few users, let us move to uh, creating the RSA. As first, let me go ahead and build the original certificating authority. So this will hold the root cert. Uh, it's like uh, also called the root certificate. Uh, to do it, let me first uh, execute the vars command to see what are the current keys and uh, other stuff uh, which are existing. I'll go ahead and clean it all. And then I'll start try trying to build my certificate. In this particular case, it is giving me an easy RSA error. Let me go ahead and quickly fix that. Okay, I'll navigate into the easy RSA folder again. And I'll initiate my um, CA certificate building process. So I can give any particular option here with host name and I'm just going with the default options for the time. Yeah, the uh, uh, CS server is successfully generated. After that, Let me go ahead and build the server keys. So also I must be signing the server keys. I would get a prompt to sign them. Uh, after creating the keys, I will go ahead and uh, change the host name of my uh, 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 server. I'm changing it to vpn.matilda.com, just a random domain name. I also pointed that particular domain in my DHCP settings. So when the, whenever I go to vpn.matilda.com, it is automatically taking me to this uh, VPN server. I'm doing this so that I can create uh, an SSL later on. So uh, later I've changed it to the example.com, but uh, just for verification. Here, when I click on view certificate, I can see all the parameters that I have given earlier. Even in the web server, I can upload the server CRT file and the key file and then validate it. Uh, although the things that I've uh, given do not exactly match, the certificate would still work. If I go ahead and click open, it has all the uh, parameters that I have given. The SSL certificate isn't particularly working in my case because my uh, SFR uh, uh, doesn't allow me to change the DNS uh, uh, values. Uh, when I try to po host it locally, I'm facing a few errors. But essentially, uh, uploading it there would uh, work for it as in uh, giving a, a label 
and then a CA and a key would actually essentially give you an SSL where uh, all the local hosts and every client which is accessing it would get a verified uh, icon on the corner instead of insecure. So this is me trying to create the SSL with Let's Encrypt. So after I generated this .pem files, I am using them to uh, install as uh, SSL into the OpenVPN server. I'm just editing the file naming architecture here because the latest version seems to be using a different folder architecture. So I've given the key.pem and the certificate.pem. Now uh, let me go ahead and build a few uh, keys for clients. Even these clients I must be signing at the server uh, end. So after signing them, they can be uh, uh, verified. So with the third bot uh, uh, is an uh, uh, SSL uh, creation, it is uh, used by Let's Encrypt. So I'm trying to create an SSL here. So I kept on getting this uh, 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 host name error. Even though I have uh, changed the configuration in almost everywhere in the local uh, uh, resolve conf and in my router, uh, this is particularly because my SFR does not let me change to uh, allow me to change the DNS. I can't create my own DNS server and let it point to it. It is automatically choosing the ISP's uh, DNS server. I tried to do it in multiple ways, but in the end, I was not so successful with it. So apart from the installation, uh, all the certificates and keys uh, have been successfully working. So after that, let me uh, create the profiles for clients. So within a, a profile, these are the things that I've generated on the OpenVPN AS server. I've generated multiple uh, uh, server keys, certificates and uh, key uh, private keys for them. So for every uh, uh, server certificate, it has to exclusively be in the server other than the CA. The CA has to be even with the client uh, OpenVPN profile. But uh, the private uh, the private keys and the client level uh, certificate should be with the client itself. So we can simply replace them here, or we can also generate it with the SSCLI command from the OpenVPN folder. They should essentially be working in the same way. I am trying to download a Windows OVPN client. I've downloaded that. And then I will import my OVPN profile here. With my OVPN profile ready, I can simply click on it. And uh, oh, uh, these are these are my updated uh, server certificates. I had a few uh, issues earlier. 
then when given the with open vpn it will again ask for the username and password because uh, i've configured users in the starting and it would connect as intended after that let me also go to onto an android device here the moment i punch in the ip address it immediately shows the certificate uh, it is showing the invalidity because of uh, the uh, SSL installation failure. But uh, the parameters we've given have definitely come up there. So we are able to still connect even on the Android device. Uh, the error was because uh, the host name and the domain that I've given did not match originally. I uh, have given all the default options instead of giving the pointing the domain to a uh, pointing the IP address to a domain, which again in terms I was not able to do because of the DNS errors that I'm facing. After that, I'm trying to go and connect through a Linux machine. I'm using the .ovpn file again. It is asking me for username and password. I've given my Linux username and password. Here we can observe that a lot of verifying status have, uh, are being shown as OK. And uh, it has taken the web server authentication. Let me give a, a quick fast.com test. My usual ISP speed is 500, but uh, here it is coming up as uh, uh, 11 because of it is the open VPN speed. That is it. This is a small demonstration of PKI in OpenVPN.